गुरुर् ब्रह्मा गुरुर् विष्णु गुरुर् देवो महेश्वरः गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्मा तस्मै श्री गुरवे नमः तस्मै श्री गुरवे नमः तस्मै श्री गुरवे नमः so bhagwan says maya tatam idam sarvam maya tatam idam sarva the whole world is in me <laughs> the whole world is in me i am in the whole world but actually neither is the world in me nor i am in the whole world yet being transcendent transcendental to the world meaning being beyond the world yet as if i support the world this bhagwan is saying do we have a parallel of this statement of the lord in our life do we have a parallel in our life as bhagwan is saying for that we will have to define what is the world world is for us not for bhagwan for us for us the world is the world of activity the world of emotions the world of thoughts the world of convictions correct the world of past the world of future the world of imaginations projections can we put the, these are so many so many emotions so many convictions so many pro imaginations can we put them under certain categories yes we can what is that jagrat swapna susupti samadhi waking dream deep sleep and meditation or samadhi so we can put these 
the whole experience of the world under these four categories. Some people say three, some say four. Now, the whole world is in me. Is it your experience that the whole world is in you? We have never thought about it, frankly. <laughs> we have never thought about it. We just popped into this world and one day we'll get popped out of the world. That's all our understanding of this world is. But for a seeker who is integrated, who has understood little bit of intelligence, that seeker will realize that the whole world begins only when he wakes up and the whole world concludes only when he goes to sleep. We are talking about the waking world. And so also, when the dreamer wakes up, the whole world of the dream world begins and then concludes when the dreamer sleeps. And same way in the deep sleep, same way in the samadhi, when you come out of the samadhi, again the world is there. When you go away from the world, again the samadhi is there. We live in a wrong notion and that being that when I was in sleep or when I was dreaming or when I was in Samadhi, the world is still there outside. We generalize it. That my body is sitting, that my... I I was uh, uh, my, my mind was not functioning but my body was sleeping or body was in meditation no that doesn't work that generalization doesn't work on the when we have to understand in Vedanta we have to take it subjectively so what is your subjective experience our subjective experience is that when I go to sleep, the world vanishes. When I go into Samadhi, the world vanishes. When I come out of the sleep or Samadhi, the world or dream, the world appears again. And we have, we make the mistake of accepting that what has appeared is the same world which I left behind. All right. So when I went to sleep last night, the world that I left, what was the world for me? It was this room with all the books lying around and all the things in my room which are there. I get up in the morning, again, same thing everywhere. So I think it the world continues to be the same. But it's not so. Everything in the world is continuously changing. We are not able to comprehend that. We are not able to see that. We are not able. We say sunrise and sunset. But no sunrise and no sunset can be a repetition of the previous one. Your time has lapsed. Exactly the same way. You come back to be the same body after waking, after dreaming and sleeping. Come back. Is it the same body? No. From childhood, childhood till now, you have been saying it's the same body, it's the same body. But the body has been changing from childhood till today. If body is changing, if your senses are changing, if your health is changing, if your breath is changing, world is also changing. Even though you don't see it changing, understand it must be changing. We don't have that acumen to see it, that's all. But little bit inquiry brings us to this conclusion that the world is changing. 
so the waking world is changing the world dream world is changing we shunt in and shunt out of the dream we shunt in and out of the sleep we shunt in and out of meditation also bhagwan says the whole world is in me so what does vedanta say what does it mean that the whole world is in me that the source of the whole world is not outside of me the source of the whole world which world waking dream deep sleep and samadhi the source the seed from which it came is me alone naturally it cannot be the physical me <laughs> from uh, then where from where it came it must have come from the mind it must have come from the intellect it must have come from the consciousness we are not going into that right now so it has come from uh, our scriptures also say that the waking and dream and deep meditation or waking and dream they become unmanifest they go back to their seed form uh, in the deep sleep and samadhi and when you come out of deep sleep and samadhi again the whole world which was in the seed form lying quiet in your mind suddenly explodes out and that's what happens to you every morning when you wake up say so is it that the second part is what the i the whole world is in me i am in the whole world what do you mean by i am in the whole world the lord is very clear that he is the material cause of the universe and he is the creator of the universe nivitto padan karan so do you mean to say that the material that has gone into making the waking dream deep sleep and samadhi is me and i am the creator of the whole universe of mine absolutely right absolutely right just like water is the material out of which the wave is made and water is the creator of the wave future touch feel taste experience only water but you call it a wave exactly the same way the material that has gone into making this creation and what is the creation now will go a bit inside creation will be prakriti will be if we start from inside the prakriti will be the pancha koshas the anandamaya kosh the vigyanamaya kosh the manomaya kosh the pranamaya kosh and the uh, annamaya kosh the bliss sheath the intellectual sheath the mental sheath the vital air sheath and the body sheath this is prakriti for personal huh? but it is true for everyone so has this come out of where he says i am the material and the efficient cause what is how can body be the material cause of my i am the material cause of the body how can i be the material cause of the mind how can i be the material cause of the conscious uh, of the intellect we don't think this way you see if we think a little bit just tiny mini bit with all what you have studied till now where is the whole world how do you know the whole world 
Okay, let's put it this way. How do you know the whole world? Because of the sunlight or moonlight, you are able to see the whole world. If the, or and the starlight. If the various lights were not there, you will not be able to see the world. Who illuminates the sun, moon, stars, uh, lightning and fire, the five sources of light? Your eyes. If you didn't have the eyes, will you be able to see the world? No. In other words, all the five senses. <coughs> <coughs> How do you know that you have the five senses? Because we have a mind. So, if I don't have the mind, I will not come to know the five senses. How do you know there is a mind? Because there are thoughts. Who knows there are thoughts? I know there are thoughts. So, if there is no I, the intellectual sheath, then there is no mind. Now, till here, what you see is, All this is Prakriti till now. But each one is the cause of the other. The senses are the... or the uh, Because of the senses, you see the world, experience the world. Because of the mind, you are able to come to know that there are the five senses. Because there is I, the cause, the owner, the substratum, Therefore, I know the, that there is a mind. But everything in the world, all the five senses, all the thoughts and all the eyes, they come and go. They are not permanent. Where have they come from? I don't know where they have come from. Do you know that they come and go? Yes, I know they come and go. Who is this I who says that yes, they come and go? The I thought is coming and going. But someone behind is observing. Someone behind is witnessing. Someone in someone's presence. I shouldn't even use the word behind. In someone's presence. The I thought is coming and going. The thoughts in the mind are coming and going. The sense perceptions are continuously changing. The world is continuously changing. This is being observed by or is happening in the presence of me only. Now, how do I convert? Till here, if you are clear, how do I convert this into what Lord is saying? The whole world is in me, the I am in the whole world. Here the challenge comes that if my attention is on that which is changing, I will never come to know the source as it is. But if my attention is on the witness, on being the witness, then there may be a possibility or there is a possibility that a, 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 a revelation comes about something clicks what the Lord is saying and therefore I understand and when this begins then I get interested in scriptures I want to meditate I want to understand I want to inquire and what does the inquiry lead to the inquiry leads to that the consciousness itself the consciousness that I am the the Witnessing consciousness that I am alone is the material out of which the thoughts are made. Because they are not happening outside the consciousness. My, the consciousness that I am alone is expressing as the Ahamanidam. 
द कॉन्शियसनेस दैट आई एम अलोन इज एक्सप्रेसिंग एज द इदम द दैटनेस दैट अलोन इज एक्सप्रेसिंग एज द सेंसेज एंड द स्टिमुलाइज बिकॉज एवरीथिंग इज नोन एज थॉट ओनली without thought without name you cannot come to know anything so what are all thoughts nothing but consciousness why consciousness alone on one side it is appearing as the aham other side it is appearing as the idam and this game is going on we are focused on aham as body therefore we cannot realize that but when you think a little bit more deeply that this consciousness from this consciousness alone arose the i in the mind from this consciousness alone arose all the other thoughts in the mind when you wake up in the morning this exercise you can do to see when you wake up does the i thought come from outside or from inside does the body thought that i am lying in the bed does it come from outside your body or it comes from inside where does it come from inside from the consciousness alone and to explain this our scriptures say that mind is nothing but consciousness consciousness with thoughts is called the mind mind without thoughts is called as consciousness and that consciousness i am which i am meditating on every day today also <laughs> see so consciousness with thoughts what do you mean by con so is consciousness and thoughts separate no water with waves wave is can wave appear separate from water no can can thoughts appear separate from consciousness no so we are calling a thought a wave as a wave see there is one wave here one wave there one wave there but actually it is nothing but water infinite water similarly we say oh i had that thought i had that thought i have memory thought mana buddhi chitta ahankara mind intellect memory and ego these are different types of thought sensory thoughts are so many different types of thoughts but what is where are they appearing on the surface of the consciousness see so just as the on the water alone or we can say in this way just as the water alone out of the water alone all the uh, waves are appearing or we can say water in the water is the whole world of waves and water alone is expressing through all the waves so can we apply that to ourselves the consciousness alone is appearing as all the thoughts and all the thoughts are nothing but consciousness in essence agree This is logic. You have to accept it with diligent inquiry, because thoughts have not come from outside. We are searching. Where is this source? Who made them? How do they appear? Complete responsibility. and as we start taking this and then he says what neither the world is in me nor the nor i am in the world so neither the waves are in me nor i am in all the waves the water is saying and that is true this was from out very gross understanding till now what we said now we are going a bit deeper the water, from water's point of view there are no waves so therefore where is the question of i am in the whole way world of waves is in me and i am in the whole world of waves from 
water's point of view this is this is a misnomer it's a it's a stupid statement because water can never experience the waves so from pure consciousness point of view and where do you where do you find the pure consciousness i am the pure consciousness when you are focused on pure consciousness what is your disposition say samadhi sleep or samadhi are there any thoughts in the mind in samadhi or sleep no thoughts of samadhi or sleep so when do you say i am in samadhi or sleep only after you come out of it when you are in it can you say uh, the whole world is in me i am in the whole world means then there will be thoughts then neither you can sleep nor you can be in, med- in samadhi <laughs> see both not possible because thoughts eruption is taking place and the last statement of the lord i am transcendental to the thought to the world yet i support the world so water says yeah you are saying it but i am independent of all the waves and oceans what do you mean by independent of all the waves and oceans that appearance of or disappearance of waves and oceans or waves we just use as waves does not affect me does not influence me does not enslave me can we say that that the appearance or disappearance of the i thought or the that thought aham or idam or if you want to put it all into one uh, the appearance of waking dream deep sleep and samadhi these are all thoughts only uh, that's how we know it does not make any difference to me i am uh, Uh, it does not influence me i am not enslaved by them i don't take them to be real because i know what reality is the reality is i am the consciousness aham brahmasmi ocean is water is not just the waves that are appearing waves are appearing only on the surface of the ocean ocean is 14 15 20 kilometers deep water out of that 20 kilometer deep water waves are appearing only one or two three four feet five feet on top of that water what is the status of that wave minuscule insignificant compared to 20 kilometers of depth of the waters of the ocean is it of the water of the waters isn't it so who are you are you the thoughts or are you accepting yourself to be the consciousness which consciousness the infinite consciousness so contem- that's why they say contemplate meditate meditate so dive deep into the consciousness that are, that you are then the surface thoughts of waking dream deep sleep they will be insignificant and in this way, so he, so when he says yet i am transcendental that means i am not affected by the thoughts of the world or just by thoughts yet i support the world without me the thoughts cannot appear without me the world cannot appear because world is nothing but thoughts recognize this this experience this what we are just now understand inquire into this again and again listen to this again and again and solve yourself as to what your true identity is let's sit quietly for some time and contemplate in the manner that we have put forth